So everybody, the benefits that I've noticed from eating raw food for a week now, and I've done it seven months twice before, two seven periods, and for the last 10 years I've been eating like most of my diet, or at least a lot of it has been focused in around raw food and trying to get over food addiction. So the, the benefits that I've met, noticed from eating raw foods and from eating lightly and being intuitive and listening to my body and not stuffing my face and being stuffed and tired, but actually spacing out meals a little bit and eating less amounts to the point I'm half full or just simply feeling energized and not tired after food. But not, you're supposed to feel alive and energized after food, by the way, not all like tired and eating asleep. So the benefits that I've noticed, okay, are enormous. Number one, get ready. Take a deep breath. Number one, energy. Way more energy. And that's, that's what everything's about. When you've got energy and you don't feel tired, you've got, you're more humorous. I'm more jokey, I'm more like jocular, jocative, more funny, silly, having a laugh, happy. I'm connecting with people more. I'm, I do all sorts of stuff more. I already do them to some extent when I'm not tired, but now I'm way less tired, I've got way more energy. I'm like just like connecting, joking, handshaking, I'm complimenting, I'm connecting with people, I'm with my human family. I'm needing less sleep. I'm waking up fresher in the morning. I'm waking up faster in the morning. I'm needing less sleep. I'm getting better dreams. I'm feeling more energy in the morning. I'm feeling way more energy in the day. I'm feeling a lot more energy at night time and the evenings especially, whereas before I'd be more tired in the evenings at night time because I'd have a big meal, too much, too heavy, too late, too dark. Too much, my digestive system is slowing, slowing down at night time. You should eat your main meal if you're having a meal, and I don't even really recommend a meal. To be honest, I recommend never stuffing yourself or feeling even full, unless it's a mono fruit meal or a juice. You're supposed to eat to feel alive and enlivened and energized. So I feel more alive, enlivened, and energized. I'm taking the benefits, I'm taking away the pressure from my pancreas. from always trying to produce enzymes which you kill when you cook food. My liver is working better. I can feel I can see sediment in my pee more. I my adrenals are getting a rest from overburdening and stressing my organs from eating too much food. I feel more energy as a result because my adrenals are more rested and less stressed. And I'm getting a better sleep. I have more inspiration mentally and emotionally. I'm being more creative. I have more time and energy and inspiration to make YouTube videos like this. I have more inspiration to connect to the other humans and the world through YouTube and through real life to be of service and productive to enhance the planet like I'm doing right now and other areas when I'm not making a video too. More inspira inspiration and inspired and creative. I'm more inspired to do exercise because I have more energy, because I'm saving lots of energy by not like wasting it on digestion and elimination. So you waste food. The biggest energy waste in life is food, digestion and food elimination. It's drug addiction, it's, it's unnatural, we're stuffing ourselves, it's also unnatural crap food. So, eating raw foods, one, massively predominantly, either 100% or 95% or 99% or more. And secondly, listening to my body where I'm not stuffing it down my gob, is saving me massive amounts of energy, and I have all this other energy to get a better sleep. You need less sleep because you're not like recovering and eliminating and coping and trying to fix yourself from the problem of eating way too much shitty food even average food even cooked food is so just like seven main things that is tried with cooking food sure i can eat food i had a little bit today i had a little bit of cooked food a tiny bit only a few spoonfuls and i was a vegetarian or vegan like bean soup felt fine no effect because it was only a tiny tiny amount your stomach should not be full it's harder to digest when your stomach is like two thirds half full or one third full or like half full or less You've lots of space to all the enzymes and the juice of the go in fully digest and it goes away easy out of your stomach and it's really good for you. You should never fill yourself up unless it's a mono fruit meal or a juice or something extremely light like maybe a soup maximum. Never really fill yourself up I recommend. You should be able to exercise after food. I feel more better recovery. That's a massive thing. Energy inspiration and faster recovery and faster recovery. It's so important to have faster recovery. A faster recovery from sexual activity, from exercise, from sleeping, from resting. I feel more energized faster, sooner, better. I can get on my life again, do good stuff. Sex is better when you eat raw foods, in my opinion. You're just more neutrified and rested and balanced and harmonized. 
you're better able to flourish in all ways. Eating raw foods is better for your erection if you're a man. It's better for blood flow. Veganism is really good for blood flow because meats are saturated fats and with too much protein, too much fat and stuff. Even if it's trimmed it's like chicken, it's still the fat in the tissue and all this fat is sticky and too much cholesterol. We make cholesterol as we're, we're a, an animal, by the way, we're a mammal. We make cholesterol. We don't need to keep eating loads of other animals' cholesterol too. That's double the amount. It's bad for you. It blocks your arteries and people get erectile dysfunction. And they get heart attacks and they get strokes because too much sticky cholesterol and fat floating around their system and sticking to the inside of their, cell, their blood vessel walls, their capillaries. So... Better sex is better is a really big benefit. And like, I don't have any problem with like poor circulation to my penis, but that'd be a big factor if I did, and I wouldn't want to make that happen by eating loads of meat anyway. Or animal products. So minimize and get off the bad stuff. Any whatever it is, drugs, bad food, shitty quality meats and dairy, or even just meat and dairy in general. Try and improve your life in all ways, always. So, I have a clearer mind, clearer, better positive attitude. The best thing is probably emotions, like more physical energy and inspiration and better emotions. I'm happier, I'm less, less stressed and more peaceful because I'm causing less irritation in my body by all the junk and overeating and the stress in my organs and uh, a lot of the cooked food is like bad ingredients too. So the best way to eat is generally mono-mealing fruit. That's my favorite way. It's like super easy in and out, quick, fast, and nourishing and best, best digested and easiest and fastest digested to do. It's all about not wasting energy and about saving energy. So not wasting energy and saving energy. Food, like I said, is our biggest waste of energy. It, eating food, digesting food, eliminating food. It's eliminating and digesting, not just one of them. Eliminating, digesting, getting out, kicking out all the shit. That's why we sleep so much, because we're recovering from all the crap we put in in the day. So when you have more energy to exercise, then you have the benefit of like circulation, moving your body, all, you gain all the benefits of exercise. This is, you lose weight, you become slimmer, you become more toned, you become like healthier, more energized, more oxygenated. You go out in nature more, you're not like tired on your sofa as much. So that makes you feel better in life and it re-inspires really you to stay healthy. So the double effect of having the energy to exercise is extremely important. When you keep wasting your energy, you have no energy but on food and food addiction, then like a drug, then you have no energy to exercise or you have less inspiration to exercise or be productive to the world, then you've then you don't gain the benefits of exercise and then you just you go into a more of a, a slippery slope, a hole of just going deeper into food addiction and you don't go out and you don't exercise, you feel worse about your body, you gain weight, you look fat. When you eat healthier and you look healthier and you exercise, your skin is better, your eyes look clearer, you look better, you feel sexier, you feel better looking, you feel more alive, and you live more. So it's, it's a very huge knock-on effect. So I think the number one problem in people's lives is they're poisoning themselves with like the worst junk into their mouth. So, uh, so I think there are all the benefits I've noticed so far. I'll probably gonna remember loads more when I uh, stop this video. Like your hair should be better too, you're getting more nutrients, like all of your organs will benefit your lungs from exercise and more nutrients, your skin, your hair, nails. The more lighter you eat and the more natural you eat, the more then you'll like have better detoxification, you have better, you'll smell better, you won't stink as much, you'll lose weight, you become slimmer, happier, sexier, more inspired. Uh, you'll be friendlier to people, you can connect more, you can heal emotionally more, you can become more focused on your life, trying to... Uh, trying to like heal and focus on the serious things in life instead of being too tired to focus on what's important like you know, like strung out on food you know so then you can start healing your family relationships you can start focusing on your business more making money being productive of service to the world you can joke more laugh more have fun more you can just do what you need to do more basically what's important to you in life so you, sometimes we just don't do what we know is important because you have no energy or inspiration so when we stop robbing our energy and inspiration by eating like too much food or too much crap food too much denatured food lacking hormones enzymes vitamins water oxygen uh, fiber when we cook food we lose the fiber if they say yeah you have fiber but living fiber is like fibrous it's like it's real like stuff it really scrubs and absorbs waste from your colon the less toxins, chemicals, pollutants, heavy metals and uh, sludge you have in your body, that's in your GI tract, which raw food sucks out, 
then the more you feel better emotionally and mentally and physically. So it has a massive knock-on effect. Detoxification is extremely important. So sleep is it's sleep and rest are the cornerstones of all sleep, rest, breathing and exercise. Mostly sleep and rest because they help you and breathing and exercise, especially sleep and rest and breathing. They are the supporting foundations of good health and they are more important than diet. But diet helps you get a better sleep and better rest and more exercise. You have to stop being a junkie, to stop being in denial. And even if you have a bad diet, get your sleep and rest intact. It'll help you to focus more on your diet too. So it's all related and circular. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Owen Fox from owenfox.org and higherselfherbs.com. I have a herb shop, superfood, enzyme and essential oil shop. And I do one-to-one -one life coaching and group work too. Relationship coaching, health coaching. So please look below in the links. There's special offers and special treats for new subscribers. And I'd love to hear from you and do work with you. And please like the video. Share the video with your friends, family and social media. I go to a lot of work making these videos. So please... Please share these videos. There's seven steps to making a video to then sending it to you from producing, uploading, taking, all there's loads of work. So please give me more value for my time put in by sharing the video and liking and leaving a comment. Especially sharing and liking. And please subscribe and befriend me on Facebook if you're interested. Love to hear from loving, kind people to me too. And other than that, have a beautiful day everyone. Namaste, have a nice day, lots of love. Peace and love, everybody. Have a beautiful day and look after yourself in all ways. See you again in another video. Bye.